Hey everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a reading vlog. I am currently finishing up this book, The Guest List by Lucy Foley. I'm almost done with it, probably like more than 50% through. And I'm really excited to finish this one up because it's a thriller and I don't really read a lot of thrillers, but I thought before Halloween I wanted to read one. And Haley Fam recommended it so much so far. It's really, really good. So I wanna finish that up today. And then tomorrow I wanna start this beautiful book that a lot of you said you wanted to see a reading vlog for so of course I am gonna do that because I'm really excited to read it I would have read it earlier if I wasn't already reading another book but I don't like to stop reading the book you know what I mean but I just wanted to do a reading vlog you can read with me you can watch me read we're gonna talk about the books no spoilers of course unless I do do a spoiler section I will let you guys know exactly when it is so you do not have to worry about anything crazy like that but in this book so far it's getting pretty good it's about a wedding party and it literally starts the book off on the first page saying that a girl is screaming and she finds a dead body like just some crazy stuff happens at this wedding on this abandoned island in Ireland exclusive wedding on a remote Irish island but the two people who are getting married the guy is a famous guy from a TV show and the girl has like this famous website or something so a lot of people would want to go to their wedding so they moved it to like this remote island to make it more private I guess but it's a super creepy island that has this haunted history and nobody believes it there and they just are trying to kind of ignore it but there's so many weird things going on with all the characters it has the bridesmaid the bride the plus one and the best man and they all have super weird stories that it's like every single one you're trying to figure something out about them so far I'm really really liking it and I'm gonna go ahead and read some of this more right now before I do my math homework so we're just gonna read with me Some crazy stuff just happened with the bridesmaid right now, okay? I can't say anything, but it's wild. Oh then crazy reveal just went down with the bridesmaid and I'm not gonna say who it's about because it will literally spoil so many things but it's insane like I did not expect that whatsoever so I'm just shocked right now I have I'm on page 227 so this is how far I am I only have a little bit to read and I'm literally just flying through it because it's so good now that we're nearing the end I mean the whole thing was very interesting but now that we're nearing the end, it's like all the reveals are coming out and they are not what you expected. So far, mine are not what I expected except for Hannah, the plus one. I kind of expected hers, but not for the exact reason. So, but this was just, oh, am I showing you the page? Sorry. This was just crazy. Just had to come and say that. Okay, I have literally a few pages left, so I'm going to record my reaction to what's going to be happening in these next few pages. Oh my god. In your room. Oh my god, I'm shocked. I thought that it was Skip to the present I still have Okay. Okay. I'm gonna read the epilogue now, but this is whack. I finished it and it was so good. I'll tell you right now, I'm not a huge fan of thrillers, like I said, because they really freak me out. This one didn't freak me out too much, and it wasn't super gory or anything, so if you're the same way as me, you will probably love this book. It was so good, and I literally did not expect what happened, and so many puzzle pieces just fitting together. 
it was crazy so good right now i think i give it like a four 4.5 stars not a complete five because i didn't read it super fast but that last part i just flew right through it because it was so good i did not want to put the book down and i feel like i haven't felt like that with a book for a little while so i highly recommend this book if you're looking for a good thriller that's not too gory not too scary it's just the perfect vibe right before halloween and i really really liked it and i'm totally gonna read more by lucy foley because i absolutely love this book she has another book called the house across the lake but i basically already know exactly what happens in that book but she has another book called the hunting party which i think i'm gonna check out but this was so good highly recommend Hey guys, I know it's a lot later and I'm in the exact same spot that I was in before, but it's actually 11.13 p.m. and I just got home after I finished that book. I haven't started reading this quite yet, but I'm about to start reading it right now. So I haven't started reading it yet, but I also didn't read It Ends With Us. I didn't do a reread of that. I haven't read it since like last October. So I watched Destiny Sidwell's video where she reread it and everything, and I feel like that was a really great option because I didn't feel like rereading the book. So it kind of refreshed my mind if you guys want to do that too if you don't feel like reading the book i would highly recommend doing that but now that i've watched that i'm super pumped to get into this so i'm gonna go ahead and start reading right now my dog is trying to help me yep it's not happening it's not but yeah let's get into it starts with us i will keep updating you as we go without spoilers of course here we go also i really like the cover and it matches perfectly with the first one <laughs> All right, I'm only on page three, but it just mentioned Lily for the first time and it hit my heart. It feels like when you're watching a TV show and your favorite character comes back into it. That's what it feels like after you see them for such a long time. You know, maybe there's a new season and they're in a new era of their lives. That's what it feels like right now. Also, my face might look a little greasy because I just did my skincare, but I'm so excited. It literally picks up exactly where the last book ended off, so let's keep going. Okay, so I'm on page 58 and I literally have not even been paying attention to where I'm going because I'm just flying through this and I feel like I'm going to finish it so quickly because it's just so easy to read. Like, this woman is a goddess. The woman who writes these books is a goddess. Colleen Hoover, you're amazing, okay? I just think this book is so good so far. I'm just flying right through it because obviously I'm really interested and I love the first book. So I'm really liking it so far because I've been an Atlas stan since day one. And if you like Ryle, sorry, but I can't get behind it because he's he's an awful person. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and stop here for the night because I'm tired and I have to wake up at a decent time tomorrow because I'm gonna go walk. Can't believe that I just got... 58 pages through without even paying attention you know when you're reading a really good book and you're just flipping the page like you don't even care how many pages in you are that's how i felt so i'm gonna go ahead and mark this on my goodreads but i'm super excited i'll see you guys tomorrow okay so it's the next day now i'm out on my patio because it's actually like 70 degrees outside today which is so weird because yesterday it was like 30 but i'm gonna keep reading right now and i made some oatmeal let's get reading I just have to come in here and say that I have loved Ryle's sister, Alyssa, from day one. And I just continue to love her more. And also her husband, Marshall. I just love them so much. They're just characters that make me so happy every time I read about them. And so far in this book, they are just the same. And I love them so much. I just wanted to come in and say that. But I'm on page 72. And we're going to keep going. how people could be team ryle in the first place but you cannot read this book and tell me you are team ryle still there's no way atlas is just perfect in every single way but i'm only on page 100 so i hope it stays that way but up to this point i just love him so much just as much as i did in the first book because i just knew he was going to be like this i did even though so many people said we didn't get that much about him in the first book i literally knew this is exactly how I pictured him being because the snippets that we got just made me form this image of him in my head. So 
I love it so far. Going off of what I just said, I hate Atlas. Okay, I hate him. Every single time I hear a word come out of his mouth, it literally just makes me so anxious for Lily. Like, I'm feeling the anxiety that she's feeling, and he's just so annoying. Like, how could anybody like him? I don't get it, especially in this book. Like, sure, the last book they were falling in love and everything like that, but in this book, he is such a jerk so far. I hate him. I'm sorry, I just had to say that. Okay, so it's the next day and I just finished this book. I'm also getting ready right now, so that's why my hair looks crazy and I'm also just like putting on a little bit of makeup because we're getting ready to go. But I just finished the book. We literally have to leave in like eight, seven or eight minutes. And I just thought I have to talk to you about the book while it's fresh on my mind because I literally just finished it and read the last part. And I just have to say, I absolutely loved it. I haven't watched anyone else's videos on what they thought about the book yet because I was waiting to read it myself before I kind of like form any opinion on it. But personally, I loved it. I thought it was so, so good and I loved like every aspect and I don't want to say certain things. I'm going to have a little spoiler section at the end of the video so I'll tell you guys when to click off if you haven't read it yet. But I literally loved it so, so much. I thought it was so sweet. I would give it a five stars. I think it was the perfect continuation of the first book because it was just so good in every way. I don't even know how to describe it. I just loved it so much like i said a million times but i don't know i hope you guys loved it too if you read it let me know and i want to know what your thoughts on it but i personally thought it was amazing and i stand by that so anyways click off now if you haven't read it because i'm gonna talk about some spoilers of my favorite parts so here we go the first favorite part that i had is the meeting of atlas little brother josh i thought it was so so cute that he has a little brother and just he was so so sweet and also marshall and Alyssa and their support when the whole rile situation happened it was just amazing but those are just my little spoilers i'll probably talk more about it at some point in another video maybe my reading wrap up for this month okay i know i rushed the end of this video but i wanted to come back in and say another part of my thoughts a lot of people in the first book were team ryle which is crazy to me but i know we didn't get to see a lot of atlas but still he was super abusive and so i feel like in this book colleen really made sure to be like the point is for you to not like ryle the point is for you to see that it's bad and we should get out of these situations some people aren't lucky enough to have support systems to kind of get out of these situations but i think she was really trying to say guys the point is for you to not like ryle the point is for you to want better for lily and not to go back to him and all that stuff so i don't know i just wanted to add that but still i absolutely love the book i thought it was like a good epilogue novel to the first one and i was obsessed with it and loved every single little aspect like i talked about in the last clip but let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments down below and i just wanted to come in and say that before i edit it but thank you all so much for watching this video i hope you liked it i hope you guys liked it, it starts with us if you did let me know down below give this video a thumbs up and i will see you in the next video bye